Look, it's a key. No, it's a shortcut. Wait, it's a macro. No, it's super key. Hello, digmates. My name is Dominique, and I'm here to help you get the most out of your keyboard. Today, we'll learn all about super keys and how you can use them to boost your productivity. But first, what the heck are super keys? Super keys can have up to five different functions depending on how you press them. You can tap, hold, tap and hold, double tap, and double tap and hold. Intense, right? Or shall we say super? Let's look at some examples of how you can use super keys. I have what I call the Great Escape Super Key. You see, in a 60% layout, like the race, you're missing the key next to the number one. You know, the one with the squiggly dash and the back tilde. Those are barely used in English, but in Spanish, that key is home to the superscript O, the superscript A, and the backslash, which are really used in Spanish. So I have those and the escape key in a super key. Oh, hi. So you want me to talk about my super keys? Gladly. So my left control key is a super media key. I've moved control to one of my thumb keys and now that key plays and pauses music on tap, goes to the next song on double tap and goes back to the previous song on double tap and hold. It also increases the volume on hold and decreases the volume on tap and hold. On daily basis, I use an app called Notion. It's for text editing and for task management. And I also use Windows. So I want to have my shortcuts for Notion and I want to have my shortcuts for Windows. So one that I use quite frequently is on number three. So when I tap it, it's number three. And when I hold it is the capture screenshot and that's uh, Windows Shift S. And when I tap and hold it is H3, that is the heading three. On the one I have H1, H2 on the second one, on, the, on number two and so on, right? So I have this combination of super keys that allows me to access shortcuts from Windows and from Notion at the same time to speed up my workflow. I also have a super key with tab on tap and shift tab on double tap. That way I can indent text back and forth with ease. And I tell you what, I can't live without it. Now that you have an idea of how to use super keys, let's get down to business and see how you can create your own on Basecore. How to create super keys. First, open Basecore and head to the super keys editor in the menu on the left side. You'll see this bad boy. At the bottom, you'll see two edit modes, standard view and single view. The standard view is more intuitive with all the functions grouped in different categories, but it requires more clicks. The single view condenses all the functions into just one screen, making it faster once you get the hang of it. At first, it'll feel like choosing a door on a TV show. But in this case, there's a grand prize behind all of them. A brand new super key! To create a super key, press the new button. You'll be prompted with a window to give it a name. Now select the function you want to edit and assign whatever value you want it to have. Let's recreate the tab and shift tab key that I described earlier. Select tap and assign the tab key. Then select double tap, choose tab and add the shift modifier. If you want to clear a function, click the X. You can also add layer lock or even macros to super keys. If you want to learn more about layers and macros, check out these other videos. Once you've finished editing your super key, hit save changes. Great, you have your super key configured, but there's one more step left. Assign it to the key you want. Go to layout editor, select the key you want, in this case tab, and choose the desired super key in the drop down menu. Then click save changes and you're all set. Super keys can perform almost any task you assign them. But just like every superhero, they also have their own kryptonite. Mine, for example, are rosquilletas. It's a snack I can't resist. Get your rosquilletas today. Dial 1-800-DIGMA-ROSQUILLETAS. The super key's kryptonite is that they must wait a few milliseconds for the next tap or hold to happen. This can result in inconsistencies, especially when you place them on alpha keys that you press in high-speed sequences. Fortunately, you can adjust the wait time on the preferences menu to suit how fast you want your taps and holds to be triggered. Also, keep in mind that at the moment of recording this video, super keys are still in bed. There are a few bugs here and there that we're fixing and some missing features that we want to add really soon. <laughs> 
And that's all. We hope this was helpful and please let us know in the comments below how you plan to use this cool feature. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. What's that?